Welcome once again to Zidam Astrology for your birth chart star one path for readings. Join me on this journey. This is just a reminder on what the water trine signs are. They are Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. I have gone through this information on previous videos on my channel. So should you have any questions, please drop me a line at zeta55 at outlook.com or on my blog zedamastrology.com. These are the trines in its zodiac layout to show you what signs are fire, earth, air and water and it gives you an explanation in previous videos as to why I do the trines rather than the single uh, zodiac sign horoscope so that you can always drop me a message or a, a request at zero55 at outlook.com. This final informational slide tells you about its synergy between Vedic Astrology and Tarot based on my research at Zedam Astrology and you know I ask that you look at it, you understand it, you digest it. If you don't understand as I said look at my previous videos or drop me a line at zedamastrology.com or zedo55 at outlook.com. And water trine, we come to your tarot spread, your five card tarot spread for the period May 1st to 14th, 2022. And the topic or the situation or the question that has to be answered for you this period comes through with the high priestess, who is all about um, understanding, peace, patience, um, inner resources, following your own path, insight and spirituality when when we see the high priestess too we also try to think about the moon and the moon is all about intuition and secrets you know so the high priestess is a card of mystery uh, stillness and pass probably passivity um, this is not a time for action it's or, or moving forward it's a time to you know to stay still or retreat from your situation and all external distraction so that you can reflect on everything that is happening or all the aspects at play at this point in time so it's a card for you telling you that you know isolate yourself a little bit meditate maybe do some yoga reflect review um, before you you come to a resolve or a resolution you know it will it would be wise to spend some time alone to allow things to settle to get better feel for what is really going on you know um, is it that you're not happy in a relationship is it more than that is it that you're looking for a relationship at this point in time or open to a relationship perhaps you are not happy with yourself or with others around you you know just reflect and understand what is happening when the high priestess um, appears in a reading it is an indication that you need to dig a little deeper than the surface issues that are putting themselves forward there are certain things hidden from you right now you know there are secrets around you there is more going on than you think and you need to find out what so that you have to do a little research you have to reflect you have to meditate because there might be deep undercurrents um, maybe a hidden motive or agenda that you're not aware of these things may be external or internal so external meaning that you don't have any control over it or internal that you yourself have to reflect on what you have done or what you're doing or what you want you know because we can go through life for many years doing the same things over and over day in day out without ever really stopping to think of, about what we're doing and why we're doing and, and should we be doing right so that we have we have to realize our full full potential for us to be happy you know so the high priestess has infinite patience and will sit for as long as it takes waiting for for someone to hear you know her whispers from within you know she assures us that the more you sit and tune out external distractions the louder 
her voice will become and the clearer her words so that the clearer our path will be you know however the high priestess um her words and, and subtle nuances are not always easy to understand so that you know we can often find ourselves in a little bit of deep water or hot water so that the high priestess here for you water sign is probably telling you know you know just reflect have some me time have some you time and just just not let the situation around you distract you and the influence card here which is the heart of the situation for you to reflect on yourself and for you to understand your desires your challenges your hopes and your fears is the seven of wands and you know what the seven of wands is all about challenges opposition enemies um, competition rivalry holding your own fighting in your corner you know refusing to budge resistance so that is what is influencing you right now the seven of wands you're you're refusing to budge you want to maintain power and control you know you're fighting to, to stay in your corner that is the influence that is bringing the high priestess out to say you know you want to do all those things those are the influences surrounding you right now that some things are influencing you right now but hear what you need to take a step back stop resisting stop being defensive and open up yourself a little bit to yourself because you know the high priestess is about meditation it's about you understanding your inner self so stop trying to fight off you know stiff competition which will either strengthen your resolve or or leave you weakened and exhausted you know you may be fighting to hold on to a possession of, of some kind of material something or, or what you consider rightfully yours you know but others seek to take it from you or are hell-bent on destroying it so your attitude is that you cannot stand by and let this happen you know you must come out fighting you are you are opposed to all challenges and, and you are preparing to defend your your territory but the high priestess is telling you you know while you may perceive those are the influences around you take a deep breath take a step back and understand that deep within you you have the resources to do what you are required to do deep within you you know it's you need to be still right now you don't need to take action you need to be um, reflective and reviewing you know that is that is what you're supposed to be do, doing so this influence is is a negative part of, of what is happening with you water trine for this period and the and your attitude and character comes from the ace of Pentacles and the ace of Pentacles is all about saving investments health um, new business new job you know a windfall financial stability and security because pentacles is all about coins it's all about money it's all about um, resources material resources finances and you know the, the ace of pentacle it um it initiates the birth of of energy in the material world and suggests abundance health and stability you know the this ace would suggest that whatever it is you are planning there are sufficient funds available so you know it's telling you there are sufficient funds available for whatever your plans are whether it's long term or short term so be the high priestess take a deep breath step back meditate connect to your inner being connect to your spiritual beliefs your faith your hopes your dreams and just breathe you know be still for a little bit be still for this period do nothing you know pentacles demand you know they demand results because it's active you you expend an effort so you expect to get a result and ace is always about new beginnings and you know um new ways of doing something you know so that the 
hand holding the pentacle in this ace can suggest that you are saving for the future or putting a little contingency fund aside you know but generally there is enough funds there are enough funds from your investments from your savings that you can take a breath you can breathe because whatever it is that you are going to deal with or want to deal with um, at the end of it, it it is going to be rewarding and, and of value to you you know so that is what the ace of coins ace of pentacles is telling you right now that is the attitude that you're supposed to have the timing comes from the knight of cups and the knight of cups cups is all about months so that the knight of cups here is telling you you know in um it's going to be some time it's going to be months um that you need to just you know lay back that yeah you have to do your day-to-day -day daily routine but don't try to begin anything new messages are going to come to you because the night is there you know and the truth is that the knight of cups here is the most feminine amongst all the night cards in the tarot it's because that it's not because it's not a worthy night it's because this night this knight of cups is in touch with his emotions and his intuition and he uses them for his own well-being and during his many quests whether it's be romance seduction whatever it is he uses it intuitively that gives him results you know this knight of cups is quite charming regardless of his gender and when faced with an actual decision uh, the knight of cups is going to listen to his heart the knight of cups is going to listen to his heart so that within a few months or during these few months listen to your heart you know don't let your head rule you about material resources and money the ace of pentacles the ace of coins says that you have enough resources the influence is telling you to fight but the high priestess is telling you no this is a time for stillness this is a time for being passive this is a time for meditating this is a time for taking time for yourself being on your own and reflecting you know the knight of cups um the tarot card can also represent you know proposals offers good news and invitation and the news is usually a lot of excitement or or happy news you know they are kind of the news that you hope to receive knights are action takers because they are mobile on a horse it's knights and knights are the messengers so they're always going from one place to to the other you know but the, the high priestess is telling you stay where you are and these messages are going to come to you you know it, it can come to you and you will find yourself acting maybe as a a mediator in in resolving disputes or conflicts you know that at the end of the day you are very um, emotional romantic caring gentle idealist I idealistic sorry and however you are warm tactful and a good negotiator so that this is what the knight of cups is telling you um, it's telling you to the messages are coming it's going to come to you it's going to come in a good way to you it might be good news so take your time hold on deal with yourself for the next few months um, don't you know let other things or external things um, harass you and communication is gonna come to you communication because the knight of cups is about communication you know and it's a, com a communication that will will make your heart feel good and then the outcome here in this deck that I'm using the outcome here um, says princess of coins it's really the page of Pentacles as in the normal deck and the page of Pentacles um, in any deck or page um, is all about being a, a student being an apprentice being a, a somebody in training you know it, it is about setting goals developing a plan so you know starting out to do something you lay the foundation so this is what the high priestess is telling you that the outcome for isolating yourself and taking a breath is that you are 
setting goals you are developing a plan you are taking advantage of the opportunities now you know they are excellent prospects for you because decide what you want take the time to decide what you want and then go for it because this is a grounded young person you are a grounded person and you want you know you want that loyalty that faithfulness that dependability and you are going to get it from yourself if you only take the time for you, for yourself the page of pentacles is usually the bearer of good news in in money business education uh, career property or health you know it, it represents making a solid start or laying the foundation for future success so by taking the time for yourself that is what you're doing that is the outcome you know and it, it tells you that if you make the right decisions now and put the groundwork in you will achieve your long-term goals and you know this the all the pages in in the tarot are messengers news bearers or persons who are, are bringing um, some kind of communication to you you know but the news the page of Pentacles will bring is all about your material matters money loan application investments savings whatever possession you know he's he's bringing uh, bearing news of a new course of study or something that you might have been waiting on you know some kind of uh, contract that you may have expansion accounts profit so something to do with your finances that is the news that is the outcome that is going to come to you if you use the high priestess as as the high priestess is telling you the water trying to use for this period so that this success is going to come to you you know that the you you have the need to scrutinize legal documents because the page is going to tell you you know look at everything read it take the time to read things to research it so that you will know how successful you are going to be by making the right decision but the ace of coins or pentacles as we say will bring you success based on the resources that you have because you do have the resources you do have the available resources that you can take the time to breathe that you can take a rest you don't have to be fighting you don't have to make those quick decisions breathe a little bit understand that it is best for you because the outcome is the princess of coins or the page of pentacles with Bhagwan's blessings again I have come to the end of another video I ask that you look at uh, my videos on my youtube channel sign up share subscribe because without Bhagwan we can't really move forward we need that support and the cards in the water trying tells you that I ask that you be safe be happy be healthy and that something new and exciting enters your thoughts and enables your dream and i hope to see you next time bye